Sydney is one of the most scenic and one of largest city in Australia. In this video, we are going to show you the evolution of Sydney from its early discovery up to the modern city of today. But before anything else, please consider subscribing for more interesting videos. In the early days, indigenous Australians who had migrated from Northern Australia occupied the area around the modern day Sydney. In 1770, Lieutenant James Cook landed at Botany Bay, he spent a short time collecting food and conducting scientific observations before continuing further north along the east coast of Australia, and claiming the new land he had discovered for Britain. In 1786, Britain decided to found a new penal outpost in the territory discovered by Cook some 16 years earlier. In 1788, Captain Philip led the first fleet of 11 ships, and about 850 convicts, and they arrived at the best location to establish a colony, and named it Sydney. Between 1788 and 1792, a total of 4,312 convicts arrived at Sydney, some of the convicts are skilled professional, essential to start a new colony at Sydney. Between 1790 and 1816, Sydney became one of the many sites of the Australian Frontier Wars, a series of conflicts between the Kingdom of Great Britain and the resisting indigenous clans. In 1822, as part of the colony to transform, convicts are threat as free citizen. Roads, bridges, wharves, and public buildings were constructed using the convict labour. In 1840, Sydney population reached 35,000, through the arrival of the last convicts. In 1851, gold are discovered in the colony, and many of people fled to the colony to seek their fortune. Between 1850 and 1860, the growing population and subsequent economic activity led to massive improvements to the city's railway and port systems. In 1871, Sydney population reached 200,000, and during this time the city entered a period of prosperity through the construction of palaces, hotels as well as other civic buildings such as libraries and museums. In 1901, Sydney population reached 481,000, and became the state capital of New South Wales. From 1924 to 1932, Sydney Harbour Bridge were constructed, and employed around 1,400 men. During World War II, Sydney experienced a surge in industrial development to meet the needs of a wartime economy. In 1950, Sydney population reached 1.7 million, and in 1975 it reached 3 million. Between 1970 and 1960, a new skyline of concrete and steel skyscrapers are built in the city. In 1973, the iconic Sydney Opera House was opened. In year 2000, Summer Olympics were held in Sydney, and became known as the best Olympic Games ever. Today, Sydney became one of the beautiful, safest, and livable city in the world today. And famous to its architectural landmark. So guys what do you think the future of Sydney? Comment down below, if you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.